Hey YouTube, Jeff here. Hey, I want to talk about uh, the Empress compressor and some of the uses of the sidechain. Uh, I use my compressor a lot for playing bass, and one of the issues with compressors and bass, is the low frequencies just have a lot more energy than the high frequencies. And as a result, when you play a low note, you may squash out your entire a higher frequency range. Uh, the Empress compressor is fantastic. I've got it set up right now so you can see gain reduction. So the more lights you see going, the more compression that's happening. So uh, we're going to use the sidechain to basically filter out some of the low frequencies uh, so we don't squash the high end of our bass. Just to give you an idea, sidechain is a bit of a mystery to some folks. But without a sidechain, uh, if you will, your guitar, bass, whatever signal goes in, and it also uses uh, the signal to trigger the amount of compression. So your core signal also triggers the compression. The core signal gets compressed and out comes your compressed signal. What the sidechain lets you do is process the signal before it goes into the compression circuit. So your raw signal still goes into the unit, but in this case we're routing the compression signal through in effect an equalizer where we're taking out some of the lows and then routing that into the compression circuit. So you see here the, 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 the compression triggering circuit has much less energy because we took the base frequencies out or EQ them down, and uh, we're not going to get as much compression uh, as a result, particularly in the high frequencies. Okay, so just a little trick or a little uh, setup. I've got the compressor set for a lot of compression, uh, harder than I normally use, so you can sort of see the phenomena that I'm concerned about. Let's get a little focus here. So we see the low frequencies really pushing the meter. As we move up our frequencies, we don't push it quite as much. So what I've done is, uh, based on a video that Empress was kind enough to put out, uh, they suggested a bunch of ways of making little circuits with capacitors to filter out various frequencies. I liked the idea, but I wasn't sure what frequency I wanted, so I made a little device that has a whole selection of capacitors. And uh, the capacitors I'm using here, I'll show this really quickly so people can maybe freeze frame if this gets in focus. A lot of information here, but I'm using capacitors ranging from 3.9 nanofarads uh, down to 0.1 nanofarads to give me a cutoff frequency or uh, the frequencies that I'm going to uh, tune down, starting with 100 hertz and ranging up to about 875 hertz. So with this, you can sort of pick the frequency that sounds sweetest to you. I'll just sort of show you how this works. Right now I've got it set on uh, filtering about 100 hertz. So here you see the lowest note, my uh, low E, which I think is about 41 hertz. It's getting filtered more than the higher frequencies. Now you're actually seeing the higher frequencies get more compression than the low frequencies. And then I'm going to walk up a little bit more. This next is filtering out at about 150 hertz. Same thing. Now I'm filtering out at about 200 hertz. And each time I'm clicking up, I'm letting the low frequencies do less and less compression to the rest of my signal, or to the rest of my signal. Here I'm up to about 321 hertz. And then my last setting lets me go up to about 875 hertz. Here, see the bass is hardly doing anything now, that my low E, hardly doing any compression. And I can compare that to where I'm just filtering out below about 100 hertz, my first setting. So I'm not changing the compressor settings. I'm filtering out the side chain, just like this EQ diagram, and letting less of those uh, bassy frequencies go in to affect my compression level. So uh, I find this really handy. Uh, I usually stick it about on the third setting, which is right around 200 hertz. I found that to be a sweet spot uh, for my P bass. And right around 200 hertz is 680 picofarads. Uh, and I'll just show this chart one more time. People are interested in making their own device. And uh, 
Hopefully y'all can see that. I'll try to zoom in a bit. And there you have, there you have uh, various ranges of capacitors that'll filter different things out. And a very, very handy use of the side chain. And again, I'm using it at about a 200, 200 hertz cutoff and uh, uh, 680 picofarads. And I like it a lot. So Empress, great job. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. I also want to uh, encourage everyone out there. We have a holy and loving God. We're all sinners. We need a savior. That's why God sent the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you haven't considered the claims of Jesus, I'd really encourage you to. Great, thanks for listening. Bye.